Good day again everyone. So we're back for the next example. So kung makikita nyo dyan sa screen nyo, here is our problem. So we have a, uh, it needs to be mas loaded as shown. So EI is constant. Uh, determine this moment at support B. Since meron tayong uh, simple support for the uh, end spans, therefore yung moment dyan is equal to 0. Okay? So, for our uh, first step is to lock all non-fixed support against rotation. So, since this uh, there are there are three non-fixed supports, so, lock na sila tatla. Okay? Lock. Okay. So, lock. And then lock. And then lock. Nakalock na yung tatlong non-fixed support. And then, we have to Calculate for the fixed ended moments for both spans. So, meron tayong dalawang span, A, B, and B, C. So, A, B muna. Okay. So, A, B, ito lang. Consideration natin is from uh, A and B. A to B. So, um, using the concepts that I have uh, taught you in <coughs> sa, sa school. So, FEM AB so from A to B so A to B from start nya which is from 0 to 3 and then yung W kukuha na yung tayo ng strip dyan since uh, uniformly distributed naman yan yung W pa rin dyan is equal to 8 and then yung X distance so L minus X diba so let's write so from A to B W X L minus X squared all over L squared D X F E M A B from A to B is from 0 to 3 8 X the length which is 5 minus X squared all over 5 D X so ang F E M A B should be equal to <coughs> uh 13.68 kilo newton meter. Okay? And then for FEM BA naman, babalik pa rin nyo lang. Okay? So from A to B pa rin yan, from 0 to 3. So 8x, siya naman yung squared natin. So 5 minus x all over 5 squared dx should be equal to 7.92 kilo newton Okay, so yan yung uh, fixed ended moments for span AB. And then for for span BC naman, or uh, yes, for span BC, we have a concentrated load and varying distributed load. Okay, so ang first step natin is to determine W in terms of X. So pwede natin siya gamit, gamitan ng ratio and proportion. Okay, so since W... So, yung, big, uh, yung triangle is 8 na height all over 4 na base is equal to yung W na strip all over yung distance niya which is X minus 3. So, W is equal to 2X. Ayan, distribute ko na, minus 6. Okay? So, from... Okay? So, hindi ba? So, alam ko muna yung <coughs> FEM for the concentrated load na 15. Okay? 15 times 4 <laughs> No Ang A distance nya is 3 Times 4 squared All over 7 squared Plus So fra ang limit nya is from Start nya is from 3 And end nya is 7 So ang W natin is 2x minus 6 And then times x And then L minus x Which is 7 minus x squared all over in total length na 7 squared. Okay? So, ang FEM, BC should be equal to... <coughs> to negative pala ito dapat. Okay? Assumption dyan. So, FEM, BC should be equal to negative 18.70 kilonewton meter. Okay? And then, for FEM, CB, mabalik-balik ito rin nyo lang. Okay? So, 15, siya naman yung may squared yung 3. And then, 4... And then 7 squared 
plus 3 to 7 pa rin, and then 2x minus 6, x squared, times 7 minus x, all over 7 squared. So, ans uh, our answer at moment at CB should be equal to 22.25 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, this will be our answers for the uh, fixed-ended moments for this uh, beam. Okay? So, buburahin ko lang siya na and uh, ayusin ko yung pagkasulat. Okay? Ayan, naayos na. So, ang first step natin again is to, uh, ano? So, anong gagawin natin? Is to unlock the uh, support in which the leftmost and rightmost part na non-fix. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is to uh, unlock supports A and C simultaneously. Okay lang ba yan? Okay. So, ayan. So, kapag in-unlock natin tong uh, so first, unlock natin tong <coughs> tong so, drawing ko muna para sa madali. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, kapag in-unlock ko tong uh, what do you call this? Uh, moment at uh, in-unlock ko tong uh, mo, un, in-unlock ko tong lock moment at support A is meron magkakaroon tayo ng uh, opposite sign na moment at A. So, kapag in-unlock natin yan, magkakaroon tayo ng 13.68 na moment. And then, ililipat lang natin yung kalahati dun sa uh, fixed support at P. So, therefore, 7, wala, makapal, makapal, makapal. 7.92 uh, plus 1 half of okay, opposite sign. So, 13.68. So, therefore, ang moment na on is 14.76. And then, kapag in-unlock na naman natin tong support at C, so, yung 18.70 ay makaka-receive ng kalahati ng opposite value uh, opposite sign uh, pero same value nitong moment nito so, negative 22.25 so that is equal to negative 29.825 so since nilipat na natin yung moment dun at uh, naging uh, original support condition sila na simply supported therefore magiging zero ang kanilang fixed and uh, Zero ang kanilang FEM. Okay? So, zero, zero, ito, papalitan ko na rin. Ito, na-unlock na to, Then, na-unlock na to. Okay? So, this is equal to 14.76. Ah, okay? So, madali na lang yan since there will be ah, uh, eh, kapag in-unlock natin naman tong uh, fixed support at B so pag in-unlock ko yan magkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag ulit na unbalanced moment so siya yung negative sum of the lock moment so 14.76 minus 29.685 okay so ang unbalanced moment natin should be equal to 14.925 kilonewton meter. Okay? And then, of course, we have a uh, for the stiffness factor that is <coughs> uh, simply, simply pa rin yan, di ba? Simply, and then simply supported. Therefore, for K stiffness factor for AB, equal to 3EI all over length ng AB which is 5. Okay? So, yan na yan. And then, for the stiffness factor for BC, 3EI lang din all over 7. Okay? So, therefore, yung uh, distribution factor for AB is equal to 3 fifths all over 3 fifths plus 3 over 7. So, ang DFAB should be equal to uh, <clears throat> 7 all over 12 okay. fraction and then for the FBC so 1 minus 7 over 12 
that is 5 over 12. Okay? So, wag ko lang dito. 7 over 12 and then 5 over 12. <coughs> so, yan. So, let's proceed for the first distribution. Okay? So, kapag dinistribute natin tong uh, unbalanced moment, ang makukuha ang porosyento ng uh, moment sa B will be 7 12. So, 7 12 of 14.925 that is uh, 8.788 kilonewton meters. And then for the uh, right span, we have 5 12 of 14.925 that is 6.277 kilonewton meter. Okay? So there will be no carryover moment since A and C are hinged and roller supports. Okay? So therefore, dyan na tayo mag-end. Okay? So kailangan lang natin ni Sam. So, 0. Okay? And then, for ang, ang sum for this uh, span will be equal to uh, 23.548 kilonewton meter. And then, ang dapat ang sum nito is just the negative uh, value of this moment here. So, dapat 23.548. Uh, so, double check na lang. But, uh, nasolve ko yan, that is correct. So, these are the moments for this problem. Okay? So, madali lang, di ba? Okay, so, modified siya. <clears throat> so, so, this is uh, this is all for our example number 2. Okay? So, thank you for listening and uh, I hope you review well. Okay? Bye!